Human civilization has always known conflict, but it wasn't until the 20th century that the scope magnified to such a bloody scale as to engulf the entire world. In the aftermath of the war to end all wars, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party fanned the flames of a broken and dispirited nation, rebuilding the country from the ashes of the Versailles Treaty into a fascist juggernaut that seemed unstoppable. They pushed all the way to the Atlantic in their blitzkrieg with England their next target. But Winston Churchill and his small island nation won the Battle of Britain, holding out through Hitler's terror bombing for an entire year. They stoked the fires of freedom long enough to stay alive and to save the world. After Pearl Harbor, the United States, with all its military and industrial muscle, entered the war. First Africa, then Italy, and then finally Fortress Europe itself. You, soldier, are a part of this great crusade. Are you ready to rise above and beyond the call of duty? Good morning, Lieutenant. I'm Colonel Hargrove from the Office of Strategic Services. I'll get right to the point. The OSS was formed two years ago by presidential order to serve as the intelligence branch of the United States military. Our mission is anything and everything. Espionage, sabotage, subversion, search and rescue, you name it, we do it. Now, from time to time, we recruit people from outside of the regular... Yeah, I know. 